All right, so I'm going to bring in the image. Okay, so this is the image that I want to model that I'm going to project in Nuke. So I'm just going to create a general shape just to get me started. Now I could futz with the camera and try to get it to it so that it matches exact. And some images will be easier than others to match up, but I'm going to do it a more scientific way, more an easier way to, to match it up. But I'm going to get my camera close to where I think it should be. But before I do this, I want to make sure that I'm, I create a camera. So Control C, and I want to just change it from target to free. And there's a reason for that, because if you're going to use the perspective match, you're going to need to be in fr uh, free camera mode. If you're in target mode, you're going to run into problems when you jump out of that camera that you just created. Because when you get back into it, it's, it's going to shift. So I have my perspective camera match, and let me just close these. I'm going to show my vanishing lines. And I just want to line up all three axes. Now, if you find that your miles in the way, you could just simply shut it off. So you can see what you're doing. And I find that when you're doing the axes, Try not to do where both of them are like this. Try to separate them as far apart as you can because they will make a difference. Okay. All right. Then I might want to just check it and bring it maybe over here. Now I do see that there's lens distortion. I can see the way the building is arcing. I can see that it's got a, a little bend to it. But uh, you're, the right thing to do is to distort the plate. But I'm not going to do that because that's not what this tutorial is about. All right, I think that's close enough. All right, so let's bring back our model. Now, you don't want to move around using your orbit rotate camera. The only thing you could do now when you have this set is pan or dolly in and out. The minute you go to rotate, you're going to break the camera match. So I'm just going to get it. I guess I'll start on the bottom here. Now, one other thing that can aid in, in matching is if you open up your material editor and just get a standard shader, apply it, and then just adjust the opacity. You can go into the object properties, but you can only click on and off this way you can adjust how much you want to see of it and it's quicker to get to let's bring up the height and i want to bring this back all right but before i do that i want to just add some sections in. so so we're going to need one going across that way oops i want one line here and I think that's it for going that way. And here I see here, so I want to put a line here, and I think a line here. Let's see. Yeah, this line will go for this doorway. Let me lower this. Yeah, I need a line for this doorway, and I need a line here. So that's one that way, and I need one. 
Let me run this one. Okay, good. All right, so now I'm going to make it a poly, editable poly. And I'm going to select on the vertices. And I might want to go into a four view and grab these points over here, which would be, I guess, I'm going to bring the building back. And I'm going to bring the building this way, so I guess my camera is here, so I'm going to pull these back. And it looks pretty lined up there. Okay. So we're pretty close there, and I just got to bring these over, so I'm going to switch to my edge view, double click it. And slide that down into right so it lines up there. Now in this one, I'm going to slide it so it lines up with this. And then the one going horizontal, I want to bring it right down to here. Okay, so I think I have it all lined up. So now let's switch to faces. And I'm gonna to have to bring this in. So I want to extrude and push it back until it, edge, it the edge of this is right on this doorway. That's okay. And with this one I'm gonna select this face and I'm gonna push it back until I line up with this back edge here. Same thing, extrude and about there. Okay. Let's bring it back to full capacity. Good. So now I just need to get rid of this piece, which we can simply do by deleting. Now I'm not making a high definition model, so I don't really care exactly. It, it doesn't have to be high detailed or that accurate. I'm going to pull this back in, and I'm going to grab these two points, and pull them back to here. Now, I could jump out of my camera view and hit the P. You see the way the camera just shifted? I went, I came out of the camera move. I'll go back into my camera, watch the building. See how it just shifted a little bit? But I go back to the exact mode as soon as I go back to the camera. If you would have had target camera selected, if you would have gotten out of into, let's say, perspective mode and then gone back into your camera mode, it would not snap back. And that's the difference between target and free. So you always want to be in free. So I'm going to go back into my perspective view. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. Now let's just join these two points together. So let's collect this one and this one. And uh, snap it. Well, actually, I'll do one. And snap. That's cool. Good. And I'm going to bring down my opacity to see what we're doing. All right. So I can see my line is off a little bit there. So let's just grab them and pull them in a little bit. Good. Okay. So now I got this doorway here. So we could simply put a doorway there. Let's just select this face, go into slice plane. Let's rotate it, make sure my angle snap is on. Bring it to 90 degrees. And same thing, I bring on opacity. And I want to line it up to, not to this line, but to the baseline. And I can always move it if I have to, if I can't see well. But for now, I'm going to put it right there. And I'll make a slice. Move it down a little bit. And make another slice. Okay. And let's get out of that mode. And we're going to go to face mode. Select inside it and extrude. 
Let the one come out. Now here I'm going to have to bring this up to 100% and scale it so that it just comes to the edge. So I might want to go to my perspective and zoom in so I can see where I am and just bring it so it's not. That's good enough. And press OK. OK, so I think I have it. Now I just have to do the four columns. So that's just simply a cube. Right, so I'm just going to speed this part up because you don't need to see me make four columns. Uh, by now you get the hint. Good. Okay. So now I have my columns. So the only thing left is the ground, but uh, I'm not going to model it. I'm just going to bring it in and show you. Um, I just want to concentrate on the office. So, And I want to take a look at this. I go into my perspective, and you see I have this piece here I want to get rid of. I don't need this. This is interfering with my ground. So I'm just going to delete this. Okay. And then I could put back and that's better. Okay. So now that we have this, we're going to just I'm going to select my camera. I'm going to call that projection cam. We're going to select the model. We're going to call that the office model. And as you guessed it, we're going to call the columns columns. And then we got the ground plane. We'll call that ground. Okay, so now I have everything ready for export. So after you install Nukem, if this is a very simple script. You just simply select your camera, which we only have one. Select your objects, which we only have three. And select your output, wherever you want it to go. Office. And you just need to check off uh, output nuke script. Make sure your output geo files are on. Create environment. Create shader. Create scene node. And that's it. And just press nuke them. And it's done. So now let's go into nuke. 